When Magi was first started in 1966, uh, we were working primarily with the government doing what's called nuclear radiation transport, worrying about if you had a nuclear reactor, how much radiation would come out and you know, where would, uh, what kind of radiation dose would people get. And the way we did that was to describe three-dimensional objects and then follow around the nuclear radiation, follow it as through its path through the material. And one day we realized that if we followed light rays instead of nuclear radiation, we could simulate photography. We could follow the light rays from the sun to the object, from the object and through the camera lens to the film. And that, if we could just you know, calculate how much light hit each point on the film, we could make a photograph of things. In 1967, the Mathematics Application Group, Incorporated turned their efforts to developing a program to create movies in the computer. They added color and other refinements to the software, and in 1972, Magi Synthavision introduced the process to the advertising world. Hi, guess where I came from? A computer. Me and my hat. And everything, everything, everything else you're going to see in this film. Computer Visual presents a new way to create pictures. Synthavision. The program has been refined over the years, but is still unique in the industry. Rather than use just polygons as the beginning point for their animation, Magi Synthavision uses combinations of other geometric shapes to describe objects and to bring texture and contours to the surface. In 1975, a young animator in Boston was present at a screening conducted by Philip Middleman of the computer graphics his company had been creating for advertisers and other clients. The future writer-director of Tron, Steven Lisberger, was fascinated with the computer's ability to conquer perspective and lend a 3D feeling to images. Well, I think on that original reel from Magi, the uh, thing that, that stuck with me the most uh, that I couldn't get out of my head for years was the image of moving through a computer-generated environment. And when a year or two after that, video games started becoming popular and I started talking to the computer people, it seemed that I now had the characters that I could put into that environment. Never have written all those tank programs. 